Konnichiwa. Welcome to today's video tutorial. So the next half hour or so we're going to work on a little bit of competition sparring footwork, striking as we move around, and also a little bit of defensive work if we're not to the ground, fitness and fighting back to your feet. So let's just get going on the spot, just to get warmed up. Swing in the arms, lift the legs. We'll do a brief warm up as usual. We stretch and then we we'll work straight into our two drills for today. And don't forget after this, we get our second tutorial for kata and our third one then for our techniques. And as always, swinging them out. So make sure if you're on the Facebook group, when this one finishes, just log out and back into the next one. If you're on our YouTube channel, just find them on the menu. They're all titled and dated. So you're gonna like it. Jump with jacks. To the front. I'm punching out side to side. <laughs> shoulders and back right foot forward kick that out punch it on the right jump forward and punch <coughs> change kick it on the left Punch it on the left. Bring the heels up. Up as high as you can behind you. Swing the arms. Bring the elbows up and up. That's it. And punch, double punch out. Hey, yummy. Okay, just go through the heartbeat up a little bit. Left leg up front, sit back on the right, knee back. Stretch it down. Ease into it. Remember, if you're on a YouTube or a Facebook group, sign in, let us know you're here. Give us a thumbs up. <coughs> Keep an eye on your progress. Bend it up, change legs. Sit down into it, that's it. Keep the front foot facing forward. Sit back on the back leg. The focus on getting that knee all the way back in front. Push it back gently if you have to. Bring the chin down towards your knee. Not off to the side, but dead straight down the middle. <clears throat> Bring it up. Both feet forward. Let's go down the center. Again, push the knees back. Big slow breaths. Try and push that a little bit further. Let your weight roll forward into your toes. Push the chest down. So you're struggling with this, push it. You can't come down very far, put your hands behind your legs and pull your chest towards your body. Even lock your hands behind and pull in, okay? Just to get that stretch up the top half of the legs. Bring it up, then step the legs out nice and wide. Hands on the floor. And remember if you have a line, 
heels, knees, and hips growing all in the same line. You don't want your body to be too far forward, and you don't want to be starting to go back to your fall back. Nice and straight on that line. Stretch it out. <clears throat> Push it a little further if we can. Lock them knees back, toes facing forward. That's it. Bring it in halfway. Let's go down that left side. Lock the knee back again. Don't bend your knees. Straight legs on both of them. <clears throat> Opposite side. Come back to the center. Let's lay down on the floor. Right leg out. Grab your left knee and ankle and pull that knee right up. Tight into your body towards your shoulder. Let the head back. Now hold on to your ankle, pull your ankle up towards you as you push your knee away from you as if you're twisting and pull back. Big stretch down the outside. Change legs, knee and ankle, pull straight up into your chest. Push the knee away, pull the heel up, and cross your body. So you're stretching out the outside of your hip, backside. And up we go. Let's loosen out the hips. And back the other way. Grab the left. And chase the right. Pull that heel up, push your knee down at the same time. And stretch down the front of the leg. Get your balance, knee included, and bring it down. Okay, ready, feet together. We loosen the legs out, hands by the side. Go down from a stance, height, ice, gear it up. Remember, leg comes up and around to the outside. Heat, knee, sand, she, go. Rook, Sish, Ash, Q, Ju, back to the inside, each, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Rook, Sish, Ash, Q, Ju, straight up, each. Ni, San, Shi, Go, Rook, Sish, Ash, Q, Shu, Thumbs up, to the outside. Each, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Rook, Sish, Ash, Q, Ju, back to the inside, 
side each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Sish. Ash. Cue. Shoot. Straight up each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Sish. Ash. Cue. Shoot. Today, we're working on some sparring drills. You might have a partner and opponent in this one, but you can still work the footwork. So, as I said the previous classes since Monday, if you have two belts, your karate belt and someone else's belt, towels, cushions to make a grid, anything to make an X or a plus on the floor, try and grab hold of it there. Make sure you lay them out on the floor. Just check the camera here. Yep, we're broadcasting fine. So, yeah. You want to get your grid on the floor, one out front to get straight here, some kind of space, and let's just get that in camera view there. And we want something then to the side, make a big plus or an X. We've done this one before a few times, so we should be well used to it. Make sure you plenty of space around you, lay that out there. Let's get that nice and straight. As I said, it doesn't have to be belts, anything you want to use. Good stuff. That's it, and we get ready to set up here. Final bit of adjustment. So we've got a big plus on the floor, and we're ready to go. Let's get this right. Okay, the big plus, the big X on the floor. Just let me check my camera angles for this class because we've moved it around in a few. We've got our plus, yes. We've got our X, that'll do. I'll pull it back slightly. So it doesn't have to be as big as this. You can have four cushions marking a square or just a center cushion to mark an X marks the spot. That's all I need, some kind of marker on the floor that you know that there's four squares, four quadrants as we call it. Okay, so when we're sparring, and next time you're sparring, when your opponent is in front of you, I want you to try and imagine this plus in your mind on the floor, because you're fighting around the plus, or around the cross, okay? The idea is your target is always in the middle. X marks the spot, that's where you want to strike, and you want to stay safe outside that. If you go and my opponent is over there and you end up in his zone, you don't want to stay in there. That's his area or her area. You get back out of there. That's why we were talking earlier in the week with the traffic lights. We always talk about it. Green zone, safe. Orange, get close to the target in at the, at the center. Red zone, in their area, but you can get hit in there. So you want to get in and get out. So we always want to keep our front foot towards the X, the center of the X. Always imagining that, okay? Whether your foot is this way or we're fighting that way. Front toes are always in towards the center of the X, okay? We never want to end up facing straight across, okay? Why? Because now, when I'm here, my opponent's over there, he's got this narrow body, no, I'm not the narrowest, but <laughs> Some of us are narrow and others, but work me on this one. <laughs> okay, you got the narrow target. If he jumps over here in front of me, I'm straight to all this wide target as well. If he comes forward, my balance is off. We always want to be that our balance can push us back and forward, and that's what we work on diagonal stances all the time. We have that movement. So, always, always keep your opponent on the far side of the X, not straight across either side across the diagonal. I hope that makes sense, okay? So, first exercise is to start with. Very, very basic, moving around the X. Now, if there's two of you doing this, you can work together. Put one on one side and one on the other side. And when we change, you gotta change with your partner. You can never be side by side, you gotta be diagonally opposite each other. Okay, that's a lot of talking there, so let's get moving on the toes. Okay, we're gonna move around the circle with our front going forward, not moving backwards. But that front foot always stays in towards the center of the X. X marks the spot. We're on the top. So we're going to jump over into the next one, like so. Go. Right in. And we're stepping around. Jump. And the back leg swings around. It always swings around. That's why you see boxers when they're fighting. One, two, three. Swing. Punch, punch, punch. Swing. Okay, because they're ready to back away. So on toes again. Ready? 
front foot in and change. That's it, good, and change. And again, once more, and change. Good, change. Good, and again, change. Good, and one more, change. Okay, very simple. Okay, now we're gonna add in four moves. Okay, when we change the first one, as soon as we land, yeah, in towards X marks the spot. Now, if you've got a partner in front of you, don't punch him, punch past him. Okay, so we're four times around. That straight punch, ready? On the toes, you know, towards the X. Change, yeah, change, yeah, change, yeah, change, yeah. Good. What's that teaching us? Attacker is here, he moves forward, you step around your attacker, strike. So you imagine I'm here, the guy's jumping around there and he's striking in. So he's getting around my guard, we call it breaking the line. Get around and strike. That could be in someone attacking you in the street, they come to grab you, you push them out of the way. Boom, strike. We go once more with that one again, then we're gonna give you a second hand move into practice. Ready? On the toes, front foot into the X. Go. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Now concentrate on this. This time when we change, do slow motion. We're going to stop and we're going to thrust punch. Not the long punch, thrust punch up high. So that will be from here. Jump, thrust to the head, or a jab as a boxer would call it. Ready? Same again, on the toes. Change, yeah, change, yeah, change, yeah, change, yeah. Good. Third one, let's combine the previous two. Okay? Wait, I need to loosen my sleeves here, sorry. Okay, we're gonna jump. One, two. Jump. One, two. We got it. Trust reverse. A one, two combo. Don't hit each other if you're working opposite each other. There's two of you. Darian Zenon or, or who else? Vasu and Hanzinia. And we've got the three Gregs in there. The three, two sisters and the brother. You can work the tree, okay? Gotta use a little bit of imagination to stay with each other's ways. You gotta concentrate on the move. On the toes. Same with Art and Kaelin. Go. Yeah. Double shot. Go. One, two. Good. Go. One, two. Good. Go. One, two. Excellent. Okay. Last one. We're going to change. Jump. One, two. Long kick. Same again. Having change. Change. One, two. Three combinations. That's the one mistake a lot of people make in sparring. They win the opponent, they block and they wait. And they block it away, they block it, they hit one. Throw a combo. You block them. Boom. One, two, three, four. Mix it up. Add your combos in. But this one, it's a three move combo. Well, you got to get out of the way. Okay, so as you jump around, ready? It's one, two, straight kick. Long kick for the moment. If you're happy you're doing a roundhouse, Oh, she Cahill, you look around houses, okay? Nathan, so on, Jesse, throw that round house in. Okay, ready, on the toes. Change, one, two, three, back to the guard, on the toes, in now. Change, back here, change. And change. Now, we're gonna go in reverse now. So where you are, Switch your feet, and we're going to go back the opposite way. This may mean fighting off your weaker side. By that I mean, if you write with your right hand in school, and you're used to kicking a ball with your right foot, we're keeping that one forward, so I mean, if you haven't already done that. And when we jump to the side, we're going the opposite way, punch with the left. We do our punches, then we'll do our back knuckle, our thrust punch, then we'll do our doubles, then we'll do our triples, all in one go. Now ready, on the toes. So we're gonna jump and long punch, reverse punch. Change, yeah, change, yeah, change, yeah, change, yeah. Now trust punch, change, yeah, change, yeah, change, yeah, change, yeah. Go. 
one. Now the triple. Sorry, the double. Change. Put two. That's it. Change. One, two. Change. And change. Hope the sitting rooms aren't home and wrecked. Ready? Triple now. One, two, long kick. Ready? On the toes. Change. 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 Well done. Take a breath. Everyone okay? Good stuff. Now, to give you guys today, to get rid of that cross, a little bit of fitness work for you guys. Okay, now, this will teach you to fight from the floor. It'll also work your core muscles, your stomach muscles. And also work your fitness. We'll drop Bob down for this one for the moment. There you go, he shrunk. So, I'm going to grab one prop, one second. Sorry for this. I'm back. So, my strike shield, at home you might have a pillow. So let's pretend this is Fasu. Fasu, you're holding the pillow here. Sitting this down on the floor. Feet the other side of you. Okay, so Fasu's holding that. And you're gonna come up. You get the idea. Sit up, punch, punch. Now, for an attacker in front of you, let's imagine Bob's legs are here. If you're knocked to the ground, protect the head. You want to get up quickly, but you want to make some space for yourself. So you want to do some damage to your attacker. You come up, punch. The stomach's in front of you, well and good. If the groin is there, or cross the kneecap, okay? Or into the thigh. That's what you're thinking. This time, obviously, we're hitting cushions and pillows, okay? We're gonna go for 40 seconds. So you're gonna come down, up, punch, punch, right down, up, punch, punch, okay? I got the countdown on, ready? Three, two, one, and go, up, and punch, punch, down we go, yes, that's it, encourage them. Okay, if you've not got anyone in the room, which you sit beside the couch and come up and punch the cushions beside the couch. Okay, that's it, keep it going. Big punches. Well, as soon as you come up, the hands go in front of the face. Protect like your guard when you're standing up. And I punch down and up. It's important to keep your core strong, your fitness strong, and at the same time, defend it from the floor. That's it. We only got about eight seconds left. Go on, big punches. Ready? Almost there. That time. Switch around. Okay, get it. You turn it around. Suppose I better go again for the second pair. It wouldn't be fair if I just sat for the second pair, would it? Okay, get in place. Lying down the floor. Bend your knees. Pull your partner's feet. Keep that cushion in place. Please don't miss the cushion and hit your partner. It can't hurt. Okay, don't fall over doing this one when you're standing up. Ready? Protect the head the way up and punches. Three, two, one, and go. Hand down. Well, off we go. That's it. Big punches. Two big strong ones. If you want to mix it up and throw forward, that's fine. But you work your hand speed. Or two left or two rights. Play with this one. All the time you're working your core, you're working your fitness, you're working your strength and your reaction. And if you are not to the ground, it's not so much of a fright for you. You get used to it. Down and up, that's it. Working hard through. Excellent stuff. Okay. Good. Eight seconds, punching. Excellent stuff. Good fitness work. Do this once a day. Be fit as a fiddle. Hand time. Okay, let's come to the feet. Good work. Let's move Bob out of the way again. We give him a break. So just to recap on what we covered today. We're almost out of time before our next tutorial. Don't forget to come on for the next one when you sign out with this one. So footwork, very important when we're sparring, never staying still and working that X across the floor as best you can. Keeping your opponent turning, keeping them guessing. Get in, get your strike, get back out again. Then we come to, if we're fighting from the floor, 
you can create some space for yourself. Get up, cover your head always, and then use your punches in towards the groin area, your leg area, to get yourself up as soon as you can. Okay, so make sure you sign out after this, come back on for the next tutorial, plenty to get through, and enjoy. Okay, so feet together, and we bow out, domo, arigato, sayonara. Well done guys, see you tomorrow.